Right, hello. First things first, we're going to have to start the who -thon again, I'm afraid. Uh, we've got to start from the start again. But this was the what? No, this is the who -thon, but we've got to start the whole thing again. No. No, we have got to start, because um, clearly we should have been watching it all on a four by three resolution. <laughs> and that was amazing. You can watch four thirds of it again. I... <laughs> no, seriously, if you're doing this at home, people, <laughs> if you're stupid enough to do no, this. <laughs> there are some people that's doing this. Um, change your screen resolution to four by three. That's how Doctor Who, classic Who should be viewed. I'm going to have to do it all again, but I shan't bore you with that mm. right now. So Stone's Blood episode one. That was class. Um, mm. I can't remember the last time we are on Contemporary Earth. Can you remember? You're not going to be able to remember the last time, are you? I'm thinking it's possibly Hand of Fear. Was Leela ever on Contemporary Earth? Mm. You don't care, do you? You're not playing. So I think that possibly that. I can't remember Leela ever being on Contemporary Earth, but I could be wrong there. So that's a long time. Um, mm. So it's great to be back on Contemporary Earth. Tom Baker's hair mm. is on point i am serious tom baker's hair has never been better and tom is clearly enjoying this story he's clearly enjoying this story because he's got and i'm this is a theory i'm going to hold to um a female actress of a certain age i think tom likes acting with female actresses of a certain age and good female actresses of a certain age as well she's really really good she's got doddery down it's almost like watching hartnell when he hadn't when before he was Hold on. It's almost like watching Hartnell when he was still pretending to have forgotten his lines as opposed to have forgotten his lines. She's really, really good. Her um, uh, uh, subtext, lesbian lover, Vivian uh, Faye, she's great as well. Um, there's a slight concern in the house about Crazy Druid Man. Uh, that's not gone down overly well, but I think he's pretty good. The set work's amazing. For a minute, I thought it was still a location shot. And there was something about the VT there as well that I thought was quite good. But, yeah, it's a shame they couldn't do the whole thing on location. This should have been another flipping um, uh, spirit from space. To film the whole thing. I know what's coming later, so they can't do that. But anyway, by the by. But seriously, I love it. I really love it when Doctor Who messes about a bit with magic. I think it works really, really well because there's enough room in Doctor Who, in the sort of, the, the DNA of Doctor Who, there's just enough room for magic. Because the Doctor will always explain it away a little bit and it'll be fine. But there's always enough room for a bit of magic. And I think that works really well here. Celtic mythology, um, I think that's a really good mine to uh, mine. That analogy's not worked particularly well, has it? But seriously, I very much enjoyed that first episode of uh, Seeds of Blood. And that was banging, not seeds of blood, what we're talking about, stones of blood. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Loving it. Bye-bye.